Good morning guys happy tuesday and a welcome to a work week in my life i haven't filmed one of these i think in like over a month and i'm so excited because when you take a break of anything like this something that you like but you just were doing too much for and you come back to it like i just feel so excited to film this work week in my life if anybody else wears contacts you also just wake up so much more and so much quicker when you put on your contacts I'm like not very good at doing that. I usually wait until like mid morning to put on my contacts, but I was like, you know what? If I'm gonna wear the same thing that I wore last night, then I'm gonna put on my contacts early. <laughs> but welcome to a work week in my life, you guys. I'm actually really excited because I haven't filmed one of these work week vlogs in a long time. I think we'll be working from home every single day this week. It is a short week just because it's the day after Labor Day. And there's just like a lot of stuff going on this week. Like I'm going to the Cirque du Soleil. I'm going to New York at the end of the week. I'm going to Solid Core on Wednesday. And I'm going to a concert today. So we have something every single day after work this week. So I just need to save like the commute time and really be productive during the work hours this week. So... We're gonna work from home every single day and I'm gonna take you guys along and of course life outside of work as you guys know and love. And yeah, it is 8.40, so I'm gonna log on to work. I spent this morning, I woke up at like maybe 6.45 and I spent this morning before work just editing Thursday's video. I'm like pretty ahead, which is really good in terms of like my next upcoming video. So feeling really good there. We're gonna start the work day now in the work week and Let's do this and I need to go drink my coffee. <laughs> I feel like I usually end off my vlogs in the bathroom with you guys, so this is different starting it with you, but yeah, this is my morning voice and look and everything. Here is what our setup looks like this morning pre-work. It's like raining and gloomy out. I'm gonna drink this coffee as I start my work day, but it is 8.46 now and I don't like to have coffee very first thing in the morning. I like to wait a little bit. Here's just how the editing is going so far this morning. I think it's really fun. I'm really excited, but now I have to take a break from our editing and YouTube and start our actual job. I'm gonna get started with my work day, but really quickly, if you guys are new here, I am a corporate strategist, I guess. I work internally at a CPA professional services firm. So basically I help any of like our industry leaders with any issues that they might be having, whether it's geographical decisions or new service lines, new service offerings, what our competitive landscapes are. That's kind of what my role is as a go-to-market strategist. That's like my job title. I'm gonna get started with my work day. I'll talk to you guys at around lunch. I'm gonna try my best to not overfilm especially when I'm working from home. I have a tendency to just like talk more obviously because I have the freedom to, but I'm gonna be really strict with myself and only talk to you guys during lunches, if anything, and just before and after work, just so that I can stay productive and I'm not looking at like five hours of footage at the end of the week. So, okay, I will see you guys later, but let's log on at least and have a good day. I don't want to like study too much. Hmm. Okay, hi guys. It is almost the end of the day. I'm getting ready for my concert now. Oh my god, you guys. I have had such a busy day. I basically was working in like HTML code all day because a portion of my job does internal newsletters for people in our company and we just like rebranded our whole company. So I had to fix some stuff with our internal newsletters to like update all of the colors and the sections and stuff. And it was like such a, I cannot believe it's like 345. That's crazy. I took like literally a 30 minute lunch break to eat with Thomas, as you guys saw. 
and then I just went straight back into it. I didn't even walk today, but it's not just because I've been busy. My whole body, you guys, like every part of my body <laughs> is so sore. I told you guys in my last vlog that hopefully you guys have seen by now, but check that out if you haven't. It's the productive day in my life on a weekend. I just got a solid core membership and I'm going to do two classes a week or eight classes a month. And so I did my first class yesterday and I'm so sore in like the best way possible. I just feel like being sore is how you know you really worked out and like grew your muscles. And I know you guys know that I've been using the Alive by Whitney app. I just honestly like I fell behind with the Alive and Thrive challenge and I'm just like lately not really into lifting. I got that walking pad, which I haven't even walked at all today because I'm so sore and I've been so busy. And like, if I'm looking at code, like I just can't walk. But usually if I'm researching or if I'm making a report or something, then I can walk while I work. And I'll show you guys that during the rest of the week. I just haven't been into like these high intensity, lifting heavy weights, running like a million miles or something types of workouts. I mean, you guys know I basically walked for like the entire summer. And ever since then, I like fell in love with low impact exercise and then when i went to visit rachel in florida we did solid core and i was like oh my god i forgot how good solid core is even though like nothing makes me sore like solid core and i've done like workout programs at home workout programs hit workout programs i've done orange theory and seriously just nothing makes me sore like solid core so I'm really sore today that's probably another reason why i didn't walk today but I also just like was so busy, like I said, and now I have a free moment before I have to finish my day, go straight to dinner with my friend Jess, go straight to a concert with my sister Justine, and here's my outfit. <laughs> my work from home outfit before was a sweatsuit from Set Active. You guys have seen that a million times. It's part of their core collection, but this is just a bodysuit from Abercrombie. I really like it. It's just like this really cute pink color, and then I'm wearing my bow that I've been wearing. I got this from h and m i think but i'm sure you can find something similar anywhere it's just like a floral scrunchy bow and then i'm wearing my abercrombie mom jeans that i've worn a million times with you guys so i just want to check in with you guys because i'm not going to talk to you literally probably until like right before the concert or possibly like right after so i just want to check in and say hi i feel really good because i like finished the thing that i was working on today so all we can really do is take things day by day and this has been a good day so far so I will see you guys later. We're seeing Sabrina Claudio. I forget if I mentioned that this morning or not, but this is like my sister and I is like one of our favorite artists. And we, and we saw her, I think in 2018. So I'm really excited to see her again. And yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the day or tonight or something, but I think my outfit's cute. <laughs> You guys, I swear, if your muscles are sore from like a workout, you feel more sore two days after. I, I know that's like probably actually a thing, but I literally feel like I got run over by a car because of solid core, but it feels so good. Anyways, good morning, happy Wednesday. I had so much fun at the concert yesterday. Obviously, I can't put like Sabrina Claudio actually singing her songs because that's copyrighted, but she is so good live. And she's one of my sister's like all time favorite artists. And she actually showed me Sabrina Claudio and I love her. She's just like incredible and she's so beautiful. And she was wearing the most like divine clothes. Like she's wearing like a corset skirts it was just she looked amazing and i got merch so this is the album that she toured it's called based on a feeling and then it has like a picture of her in the back it looks like it's so pretty we didn't get home too late maybe like 11 30 but i just like passed out because i was so tired now it is around 7 30 i'm going to edit a little bit before work today i feel like a lot of you guys are always asking me like how do i balance work and youtube and it's basically just any free moments before work and after work you just have to make the most of your time before and after work and i think it can seem hard for some people but it's just like a motivator to have something outside of my work hours that is for me so for me it's youtube but for you it doesn't have to be youtube it can be like going on a walk or just like anything that you can prioritize outside of your actual nine to five job 
is something that you will want to make time for anyways because no one wants to be defined by their job. I don't. I make the time for friends and for Thomas, but I really try to make the time for YouTube because I have an upload schedule that I try to stick to and I'm trying to be better overall about just like if I need to take a break, then I will. But I'm usually pretty good about my upload schedule. It's something that just like is routine and makes me feel good when I'm on it. That's just how I like to roll. I'm also just feeling in general a lot more settled with like the place, with like my social life and stuff. And the weekends have been pretty busy, but I feel like I've been doing a good job like preparing my content before the weekend or just taking a break when I need to. And that's okay. That's my little spiel about balancing YouTube and my nine to five job. I'm gonna start editing a little bit and then I'll see you guys right before I start my work day, but good morning. Happy Wednesday. guys let me actually let's go somewhere else let's go to the dining table where you guys last saw me hello i took a shower literally just because i was bored i'm getting off my work day right now it's around five i'm actually really excited because i'm about to facetime marissa k if you guys don't know marissa you guys should follow her she lives in seattle i think or portland she lives in one of the two but she just moved she has all this moving content she has amazing fashion content too and She's a full-time content creator and she's Asian American and I just love her and I'm actually really excited because I've never talked to her like one-on-one -on -one before like over FaceTime or call so I'm a little nervous but I'm really excited to talk to her. I think that's like such a cool part about being a creator at least online I feel like I am able to make these connections like all the way across the country which is so cool and like I can already see myself being friends with Marissa pro I mean probably. I haven't talked to her yet but we've been like DMing back and forth and I'm excited to talk to her today and it's just cool like I think about everyone one that I met because of YouTube like all in different places of the whole entire country and I just think it's really cool to make connections that way in a way my creator friends I feel like are like even more understanding and they're like very aware of the constant grind that we're on but yeah that's besides the point is anyone else like me and they just shower to put on the same exact clothes like I don't know why I do that but I'm just too lazy I will see you guys after therapy and after talking to Marissa, probably around like dinner time. And then I'm going to finish today's video. I finished it actually this morning. I just have to do like the description box and the, and the thumbnail and then we'll be all good. And then I can chill. I need to go to sleep early. I just like need to. So very chill day. Thomas doesn't come back until like, I think 830 or something. He has like a really long day with classes and like shadowing and stuff. So you'll see him later, but I hope you guys are having a good day. Happy Wednesday. It's like a gloomy day. I want like soup. Okay. So you just wave or something. Yay. Okay, good. I just finished preparing my video. It is 8.22 and the video is literally all done. And I got Pad Thai. I am very proud of myself for how early I got this video done considering it was one of those like day before videos. It was actually so much fun also talking to Marissa because we talked about just like what it's like living as a content creator, working part-time, full-time. She does it full-time. So we were just talking about like our different experiences and like my experience working corporate, but also kind of working full-time on YouTube. So it was just really, really fun. Like I said before, I just think it's really cool that I can make friends like across the country like this because of a passion of mine. I'm just having like a really good day and I have fresh hair, which is always good because it's so rare. And yeah, it was just a good day. I honestly am gonna take advantage of this early night and go to sleep. Like I'm literally gonna get ready for bed right now. Honestly, nothing going on today. I just had to chill because the concert and everything yesterday, like I'm just tired and I'm setting myself up for success like all day by getting stuff done in time and 
not being behind on stuff. So I just kind of want to keep that going with sleep. So I'm going to go to sleep early and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. But good night. Okay. I tested positive for COVID. The thing is, you guys, I literally could not do anything yesterday. So I finally have the energy today to talk to you guys. I'm still really tired, but I don't have a fever anymore and I don't have body aches. So I can talk to you guys and Thomas is gone. I've just been in this room for the last like two days and Thomas has been in the living room either studying or he slept on the couch and he hasn't been going to classes. He's just, he's wearing a mask inside. So we're both isolating here, but now I'm on day three. So my symptoms are already getting so much better. I finally have a little bit more energy to talk to you guys. And yeah, so let's talk about it. Okay, oh my God, this is like my first time putting on my glasses in like two days. So the weird thing is, I didn't really feel symptoms until Wednesday. And I found out that somebody that I was with on Sunday tested positive on Tuesday. So I'm pretty sure I got it from that person on Sunday. I don't think I got it from the concert because I feel like it would be pretty quick for me to feel those symptoms like less than 12 hours later because I think the like soreness, which definitely still was soreness from SolidCore, that I was feeling on Wednesday, I'm pretty sure that was also symptoms of me having COVID. I like didn't leave the apartment at all on Wednesday just because I think deep down I knew it might be COVID and it just was so bad. So I went to sleep on Wednesday thinking, okay, I haven't left the apartment. I'm just gonna sleep and if I feel better on Thursday and I don't feel any type of like soreness or anything, then I should be fine because I did solid core on Monday. I felt so bad on Thursday. Like I was tossing and turning all night. I think I had a fever. So at like 5 a.m. I took a COVID test and it was positive. I'll leave the photo here. I think that's what happened, which is honestly really weird. Luckily, if I contracted it on Sunday, I still had that like one to two day period where I wasn't contagious, I hope. It's just like I, I feel like this is like the weird part of living in COVID in 2022 because like I, I was going to a workout class. I, I did go to a concert. So like had I known that I was exposed on Monday or Tuesday, I wouldn't have gone to those things. But I didn't know. And I found out on Wednesday that someone had tested positive. So it, it's all just really weird. But luckily I've been working from home all week. I actually like have not gone anywhere since... Wednesday, which is good because the moment I started feeling symptoms was around like Wednesday afternoon So I think everything's fine, but my sister's been testing negative, which is really good and Everyone else in my family is negative. Thomas has tested negative. So it's really just me Which honestly is like really good. It's Friday now and I feel a lot better. I look disgusting At least I showered that day. So I was clean, but I feel so much better today. You guys I still have a cough and like the phlegm is kind of bad, but I don't think I have a fever and and what and my body aches are like they actually feel they're like 85% better because yesterday I was just a zombie. I could not get out of my bed all day and I was sleeping like every hour, I think. So the fatigue is a lot better, but yeah, those are like my three main symptoms. I can still taste and smell. But the fever, the exhaustion slash fatigue, and the body aches are like those were my symptoms. According to CDC guidelines, as of right now, I, as long as I don't have any symptoms as of day five, then I should be free to leave my apartment. But it sucks because I was supposed to go to New York this weekend and now I can't do that. I was supposed to go to New York today and I can't do that. So I'm really, 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 really bummed. But I'll go to New York sometime in the future so long as I recover and everything. I just need to focus on getting better and resting and Okay, well, I'm actually gonna work today because I really do feel well enough to work. I'm just gonna work from my bed and like take it really easy, but I was like thinking I was gonna try to work yesterday and I was sleeping like every hour, like I said. So 
I did not get any work done yesterday, so I'm gonna work today and just try to get as much as I can done and then it will be the weekend. So there is that. That's my that's what's happening this work week. I got COVID. Hi guys. Okay, it is Sunday night now. It is the day before you guys are seeing this. And as you guys can see, I left this video very like stripped and unfiltered. There might be some music here and there for like the dead parts of this video but i do think that my editing is as close to like real life as possible it's just me having fun with the editing process but i just did not want to glamorize like one bit my life last week like my life just leading up to getting covid because i did go to a workout class on monday i did go to a museum and on tuesday i went to a concert those were all like high volume of people environments so i just don't want to glamorize at all like me being naive and putting myself in those situations and then contracting COVID on Thursday so I think if I were being honest with myself I was really feeling those symptoms like I said on Wednesday which is why I just didn't go anywhere but you know had I had known like I said that I was exposed on Sunday then I wouldn't have done anything Monday through Tuesday and I could have also gotten COVID from the concert. I could have gotten it from a service worker when I went to the grocery store. I could have gotten it at the museum or at Solid Core or at or from the person that I was exposed to on Sunday. You just never know and I think that that's unfortunately the kind of life that we live in right now living in the pandemic in 2022. The contact tracing I think is just a little bit harder now because Things have eased up. We don't even have to wear masks anymore if you don't want to. And it's up to anyone else's choice, whatever they want to do, where they want to go, if they want to wear a mask, when they want to wear a mask, whatever. I do think that it's harder to contact trace, at least in my specific case of last week. So I just don't need the comments of like, yo, you definitely got at the concert or I don't know. We never know. I can never be sure where I got it from. And all I know is that I tested positive on Thursday and I didn't go anywhere from Wednesday up until now and that's like the best that i can do thomas has been staying in the living room i've been in this bedroom and he's still negative which is really great and everyone in my family is still good so i just don't need the comments about like me being stupid because i know that i wasn't putting myself in any i was putting myself in high risk situations i guess i got it for the first time ever in my life in 2022 and it really sucked but it is sunday and i'm feeling a lot better and that's because my doctor prescribed me so i had a fever um that was like my biggest symptom i had a 102 fever on like my worst day of my symptoms so and i had terrible body aches like i just felt like i was laying in this bed for hours not being able to move because i was just in so much like aching pain and i was fatigued so i was sleeping for like the whole day but i got prescribed from my general physician Paxlovid and I think that's contributed a lot to how I feel now. The side effects are kind of weird though. I have this like a very weird bitter taste like constantly in my mouth. I was nauseous the first time I took it and I've been having like diarrhea <laughs> since <laughs> taking it. So the side effects are weird but I do think that like the energy that you guys are seeing right now like considering it's only been a couple of days since I tested positive for the first time, I think that's because of Paxlovid. It's really good stuff if anyone's open to the medication of COVID. So totally up to your choice. I'm just sharing my experience. And again, I left this video just completely un unstripped and everything because I don't want to say that like you should be living my life and doing everything that I'm doing and then oh no you're gonna get COVID no this is just really I think a reality of living in the pandemic in 2022 things are a little bit easier to deal with so I think cases like this where I could get, have gotten COVID and I did then it's just kind of what happened this is really just my life and I'm not saying that I'm doing it right or anyone should do it my way I'm simply just sharing my experience and in a way like not asking for anyone's opinions about it so i'm feeling a lot better though i'm so grateful for you guys thank you so much for all of your get well wishes it really has just like made me feel so much better it's really lifted my mood ever since you guys have been dming me so thank you so much and i guess that's it for this crazy work week video of me doing life and then getting covid <laughs> but i'm feeling so much better so i will see you guys on thursday for another video yeah i guess if you have if you have any questions about my experience of like getting covid or anything just be respectful please and i will answer anything in the comments below 
but other than that make sure you're subscribed if you're not already i post new videos every monday and thursday i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video but until then miss you already